everybody, Mike Iconelli out here in the shop with a real little modification that can play big results. You know I'm a big believer in something called match the hatch. And match the hatch in fishing means to make your lure look like something real and natural in the environment. So big on match the hatch. Um, and dialing a lure color into exactly what the fish are feeding on. You know, when bass are eating bait fish, I don't care if it's shad, herring, owlwife, shiners, minnows, all of those forage species have a bluish sheen to it, like to call it a pearlescence. Freshwater, saltwater, all those fish have a shine to them. Now we could add that shine to any bait simply by spraying it on. This is a really cool product from Spike It, and it's called Luma Pearl. It's called Luma Pearl. If you look at it, it just comes in this little two ounce aerosol can, and we're gonna be able to take this Luma Pearl and spray it on a bait. As a bonus, this Luma Pearl, Spike It Luma Pearl, also has garlic flavor built right into the spray. But here it goes, it's real easy. Um, we're gonna just shake this up, I like to do it just for a little bit, get that paint flowing. And we're gonna be able to add this to any bait, hard bait, soft bait. Two of my favorite baits are hard lures like crank baits, vibration lures, and spinner baits. It's a real easy modification on these lures. Um, in the fall, when fish are feeding on bait, this is real critical. And here it goes. Uh, when you're out in the shop, I like to just put a little newspaper down. If you're out in the boat, just hold it outside of the side of the boat. And I'll get my lure. This is a Rapala Rip and Wrap. And if you look at it, it's shad colored, but it's flat. It's got a flat color to it. I like to add that sheen, that pearl sheen to it. So we're just gonna get our Gerber pliers. And the great thing about this is it dries in like 20 seconds. This thing is dry. So I'm just gonna get the can and I'm gonna hold it about six inches away from the bait. Hold it about six inches away from the bait and I'm just gonna spray it on evenly. Look at the difference in that bait. I took a bait that was flat colored. Look at the back. See that flat? That's Helsinki Shad, flat colored. And look at the bluish, bluish pearlescent, almost a little pink color that I added to it. So I changed it from a static flat bait to a lure that has that natural shine. In 20 seconds, this thing's gonna be fishable. Look at that, ready? Flat color. In clear water, when the fish are really picky, they're gonna ignore that. Add that pearlescent sheen, bluish pinkish shine, the fish are gonna start eating it. You can do the same thing to a spinner bait with the blades. Watch this. I've got regular gold and silver willows on this half ounce Mullix water slash. Shake it a little bit. I'm gonna hold that spray about six inches from the blades. Look at this. And this is gonna dry in about 20 seconds. Look at the pearlescent shine I've added to that, to that blade. So now I went from just a regular silver to a lure that has that bluish sheen to it, that pearlescence. And I can even do the same thing on the body. If I really want to dial it in, adding that pearlescent glow to not just the blades, look at that, but also the body itself. Let me tell you, this is so nice because you can carry this in the boat with you in clear water when the fish are dialed in on bait fish. Just add a little bit of that Luma Pearl and you're going to make those fish respond a lot better. Mike Iconelli out here in the shop talking about matching the hatch with Spike It Luma Pearl.